So, uh, good morning, dear colleagues, once again. Uh, thank you for the invitation to the conference. Uh, my topic today is connected not really with the uh, recent finds of lamps, but with the chronologically latest uh, ceramic lamps that were found in the Albion collection while studying the whole range of these devices from the end of the 7th century BC till the 5th century AD, right? So, uh, oil lamps, which are specifically shaped ceramic devices that were used to illuminate premises in the dark, are often used by researchers to suggest a date for other finds during the excavation of both settlement and funerary context. So, a developed typology and chronology of the lamps make it, uh, makes it possible on occasion to expand or, conversely, uh, to narrow down an uh, already existing and generally accepted chronological framework for specific ancient settlements. Thus, uh, the more archaeological material is studied and circulated, the more lately uh, the more likely sorry, uh, it is that the dating of objects and sometimes settlements could change significantly. For instance, a decade ago, it was established that the Albion Polis was founded in the second half of the 6th century BC, but the systematic work of researchers has helped to figure out that it was uh, much earlier, as we have the earliest finds of ceramic vessels, uh, dated by the end of the 7th century BC on the Emporium of Olbia, the settlement on Berezan Island, based on a catalogue of archaic pottery and lamps from Olbia. Uh, this concerns the actual founding of Olbia Pontica as much as its decline. It should be noted that previously all the latest objects and pottery items found at the settlement were dated by the 4th century AD. However, Recent finds of imported ceramic lamps from the 4th and even the beginning of the 5th centuries AD have led to a reconsideration of the dates from the decline and ultimate fall of the settlement. It now seems that Olbia may have experienced a brief but still a continuation after the 4th century AD. These recent finds uh, of lamps in the Olbian collection presented today in my report are dated from the middle of the 3rd to the beginning of the 5th centuries AD and can be referred to the latest period of settlement existence. Most of these lamps are of imported origin, but uh, complete parallels, uh, yeah, uh, with the complete parallels of uh, from Syria, Palestine, Corinth and the cities of the Bosporus. Yeah. Um, yeah, this one. So. Uh, we start from the lamps with grooves on the rim ornamentation. Uh, such items in the collection are 24. Uh, lamps of this type are widespread mainly among cities in the, of the northern Black, Black Sea coast, especially in Kersenesses, where they make up 30% of the total number of lighting devices originating from the necropolis and the settlement together. That is why it seems reasonable to use the classification for the typology and dating of Serhii Sorochan. The author divided the groove lamps by the shape of the body into two types, pear-shaped and round egg-shaped. Uh, besides Albion territory, they were found also in large quantities on the ancient Tanais area. Due to the discovery of such a lamp of the, um, on the R25 sector excavation site in 2017, it can be dated identically to the lamps of Tanais by the 3rd, 4th centuries AD. To this classification, Denis Zhurovlov is also uh, relies on, and uh, he dates them by the second quarter of the third and uh, the end of the fourth centuries AD. As for the center of production of this type, type of lamps, it should be noted that despite their significant distribution in the northern Black Sea, the clay of some specimens is different, which may indicate several production centers, as well as Denis Zhurovlov noted. Rounded groove lamps dominate in our collection, and there are only a few pear-shaped ones. We have identical lamps among the collections of the Yalta Museum and the Museum of Warsaw. The identical wear to our lamp originates from Ephesus in the lowest row, as you can see here, and is dated from the end of the 2nd century AD, but the latter has volutes on the sides of the nozzle, indicating the earlier date. In addition, such lamps are common in the Danube region. The next slide. The next slide shows the lamps with a stylized shell on the discus. 
They are ornamented with round protrusions and ribbed ornament. Such researchers, um, some researchers believe that they are a variant of grooved lamps, which were on the previous slide, but it is a false conclusion. Many such lamps have been found within the Bosporus, Tanais, as well as among the museum's collection in Bonn, but the author mistakenly dates them by the middle of the first century AD. They are also dated from the first half, the middle of the third century AD. Oscar Waldhauer mistakenly dates them by the Hellenistic times because of their body shape, similar to the products of this time. But materials from Pantikepion, Tiritaka, and Ilurat indicate that such lamps are dated by the third century AD. Denis Zhirovlev classifies them as type number 36 and writes that they are one of the most common types of lamps on the Bosporus in Roman times and believes that they were made on the Bosporus. The next lamp was found during a survey of the lower town, a lower city of Olbia in the late 1930s. It depicts a rosette in the center on the, of the discus and a series of round um, indentations along the edge of the rim that considered as leaves. The analogy to the 13 petal rosette at the discus and ornamentation with leaves around it is dated by the 3rd century AD and comes from the collection of the Belgrade Museum. The lamp is dated according to the accompanying material by the 3rd century AD too. Another analogy is among the products of Argos, but the handle has a hole and uh, the dating is much earlier, the, uh, much later, sorry, uh, the 1st century AD. Observations of impurities in the clay and the coating and quality of the varnish uh, or lacquer allows us to say that we have a product of Asia Minor production. The lamp on this slide has several rows of dot ornaments and barely visible volutes near the nozzle. The handle also does not have a hole, as in the previous item, and uh, we, have an, um, we have an analogy to this lamp among the materials of ancient ceramic in essence with the dating by the 360-390 uh, AD, as well as in the collection of lighting devices of the Heidelberg Museum, dating by the second half of the 6th century AD. However, it is quite doubtful for Olbia. It has a rather vague outline and a blurred plot, which indicates the worn-out matrix from which it was made. This lamp has no ornament, but the handle is without a hole and its shape indicates dating by the end of the 3rd and 4th centuries AD. The only complete analogy found to it is in the collection of the Louvre Museum uh, of unknown origin and dating. The quality of the clay of this product indicates that it was poorly nicked before firing. This fragment has a fuzzy zigzag pattern around the filling hole its elongated shape it also suggests late dating. The lamp is similar to the ornament and morphology, um, belongs to the so-called North African lamps. This form appears in the 4th century AD near Alexandria and Egypt uh, was, and was commonly uh, used in Italy and Greece at this time, where imitations of such lamps were made. In the 5th century AD, such lamps are popular in the central Mediterranean, Thrace, Pannonia, and weekly in, the, in Dacia. Uh, researcher Kuzmanov is convinced that such lamps belong to the Syrian Palestinian products, which are dated from the end of the 4th century AD and which were widespread in the region of Lower Mercia and Thrace in the 4th and 5th centuries AD and in the Eastern Pontic area are found even until the 7th century AD, which is unlikely for Olbia too. A fragment of this lamp is identical to the find which is dated by the 5th, 6th centuries AD and is stored in the Museum of Hanover. However, for Olbia, it is more likely to say that the dating by the, uh, is the 5th century AD. This product is of Egyptian origin. Unfortunately, a very small fragment of this lamp doesn't allow identifying the shape of the lamp completely. Similar items with a flat discus without ornament but with a different handle are found in Pannonia along, uh, among the materials of the 3rd, 4th centuries AD. 
This lamp was found during researches at the R23 excavation site in Olbia among materials of the 1st, 3rd centuries AD, according to the Gaelic Terra Sigillata, the middle of the 2nd century AD. However, this lamp is unique in shape because it has the morphology of the late Hellenistic lamps, but the handle and elongated nozzle are not similar to the lighting devices of this time. Among the materials of Trier, such uh, a product has an analogy to a lamp dating from the 3rd century AD. However, the handle has some extension at the top. Uh, and among the materials of Tanais, uh, during the studying of the basement, a similar lamp was found with a later dating, the end of the 4th, beginning of the 5th century AD. In my opinion, the most reliable date of this product is a closed complex from the Kersonesis necropolis, namely the burial, the inventory of which is dated by the 4th, 5th centuries AD. This fragment of the lamp also originates from the R23 section in Olbia and is dated by the end of the 4th, beginning of the 5th century AD. It depicts a floral ornament with branches of grapes made on raw clay. The lamp is of Syrian origin and its analogy was found among the materials of Dura Europos. According to the materials from the R23 site, the lamp comes from a layer of the 4th century AD. This lamp has no analogies among the antique centers yet, but its shape indicates the dating by the 3rd and 4th centuries AD and clay is similar to products of Asia Minor origin. Handmade lamps, because they have an extraordinary variety of forms, it is difficult to date without closed complexes. The handmade lamp on this slide comes from a complex of the pit from the R25 excavation site in Olbia, which makes it possible to date it by the 4th century AD. Although it should be noted that the morphology of its shape is more similar to the lamps of Hellenistic times. The last but, in my opinion, the most interesting fragment of Olbium collection among the latest finds of lamps, this fragment which depicts a pair of fish on the edge of the discus. Due to the search of analogies, um, it was possible to find out that the full plot of this lamp which is, uh, is impressive. This analogy, which you see below, was found in a closed complex in the Kersonesis necropolis in the crypt, which is dated by the second half of the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD. The depicted scene corresponds to the plot of the absorption of the prophet Yona by a sea monster described in the Old Testament. Our find, of, uh, our find is of Corinthian origin, judging by the, uh, by the uh, characteristic of clay. And the find from Kersonesis, according to Denis Zhurovlev, who published it, comes from one of the Greek centers. This is the only find so far in Olbia with an image that belongs to the early Christian tradition. The scene with the ship Yona and the sea monster is one of the most popular in the early Christian art. The most famous monument depicting Yona is the Great Lateran sarcophagus, as well as other sarcophagi of the second half of the 3rd and 4th centuries. There are numerous, numerous depictions of this scene in the Roman catacombs also, of the pre-Constantine era. It should be noted that such a plot directly which uh, related to the Christianity is understandable for the ancient Kersonesis, but not for Olbia. It seems that it occurred here by accident, in the absence of other things that would indicate the spread of Christianity here. In conclusion, I must say that 90% of the lamps considered today, the total number of which are 39, come from the section R25 and the remaining 10% sections are R23 excavation site and the lower city of Olbia. The finds of late lamps in Olbia are an extremely important aspect of the study of the political and economic uh, history of the city, prompting research into a little known period for which there are few ecological artifacts and contributing new data to correlate with the overall picture of site development created by researchers so far. Thank you for your attention.